Purdue fans are quite familiar with the name Braden Smith after his early success on the court at Mackey Arena. The Indiana native didn't just leave his legacy behind at Westfield High School, he left something else behind too. It's what you do when you make a high school team. Like picking a jersey number, you pick a locker. And for Westfield basketball players, everybody wanted to inherit Braden Smith's. Like the older people, like Braden's locker is over there. And like, I was like, all right, I'm, if I get his locker, that'd be pretty cool. And I just chose the right one. Brock Dedimore, a freshman basketball player at Westfield, grew up watching Braden Smith play. Smith was Westfield's all-time leader in points and assists, the first Division I recruit in boys' basketball history, and was named Indiana Mr. Basketball. What Dedimore didn't know was that Smith left behind something for whoever got his locker next. We got our locker combination from Coach Sumter, and I opened it up, and I looked down, and I saw, saw a pair of Puma basketball shoes, and I saw Braden Smith uh, signature on them, and it was crazy. At first, Dedimore thought someone accidentally left shoes behind until he saw Smith's catchphrase written on the shoe. I picked them up, and I saw a signature on it, Braden Smith, stay peaky. It was really cool. Smith's phrase, stay peaky, and his nickname, Peaky B, comes from his love of the show, Peaky Blinders. The name has even stuck here at Purdue. I kind of showed it to everybody at Westfield. I was like, hey, this show's good. Like, it's my favorite show. So they're like, all right, I guess we'll check it out. And then they started liking it. So then I, they just started calling me Peaky. So then, like, everything I kind of do is just kind of revolved around that. Smith said he broke through multiple pairs of sneakers while playing basketball, but the pair he left behind was a good pair of Pumas that he knew he couldn't wear again, since Purdue is a Nike school. I wore those shoes in high school, so I just really liked them. So I was like, you know what, might as well just leave them. And Whoever gets it, gets it. I think I left a lot of other stuff in there too. I think there was some, some water bottles, some, maybe a book bag or something. But uh, no, I didn't tell anybody. I just signed them, put them in there. Everyone just like crowded me and like looked at the shoes, took the shoes, and everyone was just like going crazy, taking videos. They're, they're at my house right now. I brought them home in my room on a shelf. Dedimore said even though he is an Indiana fan, he will still be watching and cheering on Braden this season with Purdue. As for Smith, he's happy that his legacy lives on at Westfield. I mean, I'm not the tallest, I'm not the biggest, so I mean, like, it shows that it's possible, like, if you're willing to keep your head down and keep working, that everything is possible and it will work out. Dedimore told me that if he plays as well as Braden did at Westfield, he thinks he might leave something behind in that locker as well for the next player. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe uh, it's great. a lucky locker. Is he any good? Uh, he's only a freshman, so we don't know yet. We'll see. Yeah. Wow. Okay, <laughs> something to watch.